Hello friends, welcome to C Programming video tutorial series. In the previous video tutorial, we started discussing operators in C programming language. We understood that C provides a rich set of operators to perform arithmetic operations, logical operations, comparison operations, etc, etc, etc. I told you how to remember all types of C operators. You just need to remember the shortcut Lara Bix. L for logical operators, A for arithmetic operators, R for relational operators, A for assignment operators, B for bitwise operators, I for increment and decrement operators, C for conditional operator, S for special operators. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss arithmetic operators in C programming language. We have five different arithmetic operators, plus, minus, multiplication, division and modulus. Plus symbol indicates addition operator. It gives sum of two numbers. Minus symbol indicates subtraction operator. It gives difference between two numbers. Star symbol indicates multiplication operator. It gives product of two numbers. Forward slash symbol indicates division operator. It gives quotient of a complete division guys. Percentage symbol indicates modulus operator. It gives remainder of a first division operation guys. Let's have a demo and understand all of these arithmetic operators step by step. I minimize the word. I double click on code blocks icon to launch the code blocks IDE. You can see that code blocks IDE is launched. I'm going to create one new project. I say here file new project. I say projects, say console application, say go. Then I say next, I select C language, say next. I give the project title or project name. I say here arithmetic operators demo. Then I say next, say finish. You can see that arithmetic operators demo project is created. I click on the plus sign. I double click on main.c. You can see that main.c file is open. I'm going to delete this line of code which is not necessary. I delete this line of code which is not necessary. Here I say printf in double quotations I say percentage %d then I say comma 2 then I say semicolon. We know that percentage %d format specifier is a placeholder for an integer value. So printf displays here 2 guys. If I say build and run you see that printf has displayed 2 there. I close it. Here I say backward slash n to get an extra line or a blank line. If I say build and run, you see that printf has displayed to and added a blank line there. I close it. In this place, we can give an expression also guys, like 2 plus 2. Plus is an addition operator. It gives a sum of two numbers. 2 plus 2 will get here 4 guys. If I say build and run, you see that we got 4 output. I close it. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Let's see one more example. I say here 5 plus 2. 5 plus 2 will get 7. Right guys? If I say build and run, you see that we got 7 there. I close it. I'm going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say 5 minus 2. Of course, minus is a subtraction operator. It gives difference between two numbers. So 5 minus 2 will get 3. If I say build and run, you see that we got 3 there. I close it. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say 10 minus 2. 10 minus 2 is 8. If I say build and run, you see that we got 8 there. I close it. Let me copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say star. Star indicates multiplication operator guys. It gives product of two numbers. So 5 into 2 is 10. If I say build and run, you see that we got 10 there. I close it. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say 10 star 2. That is 10 into 2 is 20. If I say build and run, you see that we got 20 there. So we understood the addition operator, subtraction operator and multiplication operator guys. Let's understand division and remainder operators, that is modulus operator. I'm going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say 
10 divided by 2. Let's see what do we get here. I am going to copy this line of code and paste down. Here I say 10 mod 2. Forward slash symbol indicates the division operator guys. It gives us quotient of a complete division. Percentage symbol indicates modulus operator. It gives us a remainder of the first division operation guys. Let me explain this part more clearly with the help of MS Paint. I say here 10 divided by 2. 2 into 5 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So this part of the division is called as quotient. This part of the division operation is called as remainder. We get quotient with the help of forward slash or the division operator guys. And the remainder we get with the help of modulus operator. That means 10 divided by 2 gives us quotient 5. 10 mod 2 gives us remainder 0 guys. That means here we get 5. Here we get 0 guys. If I say build and run, you see that we got 5 and 0. I hope you guys have clearly understood what is the meaning of quotient and what is the meaning of remainder. Let's see one more example. I am going to copy these two lines of codes and paste down. Here I say printf percentage d. I say 11 divided by 2 and 11 mod 2. What do we get in this place we'll understand and what do we get in this place we'll understand. Let me go to MS Paint. I say control A and say delete. This time we are saying 11 divided by 2. 2 into 5 is 10. 11 minus 10 we get the remainder 1. So 11 mod 2 we get the remainder 1 guys. As I told the modulus operator gives us remainder of the first division guys. We have not completed the division. We can say point and get an extra 0 and say 2 into 5 is 10. 10 minus 10 is 0. So this is the complete division. Now this is the quotient of the complete division operation guys. Right guys? When I say 11 divided by 2, we don't get 5.5. We only get the integer part 5 guys. Why? The reason is integer divided by integer will get an integer guys. So this part is most important. When you say integer divided by integer, you get the integer guys. If you see at present, here we are going to get 5, here we are going to get 1. If I say build and run, you see that we are getting 5 and 1. We are not getting 5.5. How do I get 5.5? We have to convert one of the value to a floating point value here. So here, I am going to convert the number 2 into a floating point value. To convert number 2 to a floating point value, I put two brackets before the number 2 and then I say the data type to which I want to convert. I am saying here float. So what happens in this case is when you say integer divided by floating point value, you get a floating point value guys. You get complete 5.5 this time. So here you are going to get 5.5. But to display 5.5, I cannot use percentage %d. We know that percentage %d is used for displaying integer. To display floating point value, what do we use guys? We use the format specifier percentage %f, right? If I say build and run, now we get 5.5. You can see that we are getting some extra zeros. We can tell to code blocks do not display these extra zeros. So how do we do that? By saying 0.1 here. What are we saying? We are saying to code blocks that display only one digit after the decimal point. If I say build and run, we get 5.5 as the output. There are no extra zeros. So that is how you use the arithmetic operators in C programming language guys. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. Try this code yourself. Experiment with more examples. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to understand how do we efficiently evaluate expressions. When do we convert one type of data value to another type to get the exact result? We understand different format specifiers. So you need not worry about evaluating expressions at present guys. Here mainly we are focusing arithmetic operators and how to use them. I think you got the clear idea.
in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss uh, more about uh, operators in c programming language for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.